subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hi i'm dr sanjeev pisahani today we will be discussing learn helplessness one of the hardest things to learn is how to get back on your feet when you have been knocked over and over again in fact constant failure and crushing disappointment are two of the biggest demotivating factors you can find in life when you have been hurt enough times suffered enough times eventually you begin to believe that you have no other options fighting it wouldn't make any difference it's easier to just surrender to give up and accept the inevitable and that the situation is helpless learned helplessness is the result of repeated failure to control unwanted events or discomfort in your life when you feel like you cannot escape pain and you eventually stop trying to avoid the discomfort even when opportunities to escape are presented this learned helplessness prevents any action learned helplessness started with experiments performed by Martin Seligman and Stephen F Mayer on a group of dogs conditioned to expect an electrical shock after hearing a tone the dogs were divided up into three groups in group 1 the dogs were strapped into harnesses for a period of time and then released the dog in the second group were placed in harnesses but were zapped with electrical shocks that could be avoided by pressing a panel with their noses the third group received the same shocks as the dogs in group 2 except this group was not able to control the duration of the shock the shocks were completely random and outside of their control after the dogs were conditioned they were released in a shuttle box that contained two chambers that were separated by a low barrier so what did they learn all the dogs from group 1 and 2 all placed out that ran to the shock free side to stop experiencing the shock all the dogs in group 3 made no attempts to get away from the shocks they stayed in the shock zone and submitted themselves to the discomfort why didn't they try to escape to freedom they believe they were powerless in other words they learned to be helpless humans learn helplessness in much the same way in situation where people feel helpless they either give up completely much like the third group of the dogs in the experiment or accept every opportunity presented doing everything rather than choosing the opportunity that is best for them when it comes to overcoming learned helplessness the most important factor is realizing you are in control when you focus on things you have no control over it can lead you to feeling hopeless to change your situation so instead of doing that focus on the things you can control by focusing on things like your choices actions skills and responses to situations you put yourself in a position to be able to improve yourself research shows that learned helplessness can be prevented or reversed by learning to view situations in a more positive way doing so helps you to see setbacks and failures as temporary and singular In other words, believing the cup is half full can help you beat learned helplessness. That's it for today. Stay tuned to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you.